life cycle of eukaryotic branchiae now this is the concentration as a male it is going to the female where it is lives basically is goes to histozygotic parasite basically living into the lymph tissue or lymph vessels it is after copulation it released by the the special type of n sheeted it's a special type of sheeted containing of microfilarial larva will be there sheeted containing microfilarial larva will be there here we must be discuss here this type of eukaryota ovvv parity ovvv parity is very very important one ovvv parity means ovo means x vv parity means laying of young ones both means is laying of x is consisting of a young ones that's why we a specialized character we called as ovvv parity will be there next this type of uh, <coughs> male and female after copulations releasing by the the special type of microfilaria larva will be there microfilaria by microfilaria 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 larva will be there microfilaria larva is goes to highly modified like this This is goes to microfilaria. Microfilaria larva. It is how to the outermost is goes to sheet. It means a coating. Protein coating will be the outermost area. It is gives to the protection to the continuous of life. These are presents into the lymph. These are presents into the lymph. Lymph to the, it is reached to the blood. it is show to the the special type of periodicity night time the duration of night time it is show the different type of movement means it is completely in the day time day time it is rearing onto the deep blood vessels deep blood vessels it is rearing the day time when we come to the night night time it is come to the up to 10 o'clock to 4 am it is rearing into the peripheral blood vessels peripheral peripheral blood vessels peripheral blood vessels these type of microfilaria larva it must be the further growth it must be completed to the in the mosquito only in this further development with not suitable environment to the human body that's why is going to the uh, going to the infected to the mosquito basically <coughs> it is uh, 70 days it can be live after complete of 70 day 70 days will be completed this uh, microfilaria larva they should not reach to the mosquito it may die it may die okay if it is case it is reach to the first in that time night 10 to 4 am that is have the culex mosquito is bitten culex mosquito culex mosquito is bitten to the infected person this microfilaria larva is enter to the culex mosquito first is goes to labium and finally reach to the midgut finally reach to the midgut midgut the reach to the here is goes to thoracic thoracic muscles thoracic muscles up to 4 to 6 hours 4 to 6 hours in the midgut area what are the sheeted which is covered by the, what are the sheeted which is covered by the microfilaria larva is dissolved okay dissolved by the digestive glands of midgut of culex mosquito that is ex sheeted of microfilaria larva it reach to the thoracic muscles here is goes to moulting will be takes place uh, first stage of uh, moulting will be takes place is a formation of special type of uh, sausage shape of larva will be formed that is a sausage shape of larva will be consists like this ok 
okay this is a very specialization larva this we call as sausage shape sausage shape will be formed here the thoracic muscles of mosquito these uh, thoracic muscles of mosquito it is uh, again we're going to the molting will be formation of third stage of larva third stage of larva is goes to highly infected it's a long structure infective highly infective the long position of is goes to third stage of third stage of larva will be formed it is infective infective stage it is reached to the labium of the mosquito labia of labia of mosquito mosquito this is a infective stage to the human beings this third stage of larva it is reached to the blood vessels blood vessels and finally it is a formation of the fourth molting will be takes place fourth molting will be takes place and finally formation of young ones finally formation of young ones and again it is reached to the reproductively active reproductively active is goes to 5 to 18 months will be take to the reproductively active after that will be continue of the life cycle like this okay i will see step by step and once again <coughs> first one is goes to this is a female it is this is goes to male eukaryotic embryonic ft it is a female eukaryotic bank ft these are all presents into the lymphatic vessels of the human beings it is after a copulation of both it releases to the microfilaria larva it's a very very special microfilaria larva here must be remember here is goes to ovv parity this must be remember here so this is goes to microfilaria larva it's a x this is have a complete one protein coating will be there that is a protein coated microfilaria larva will be there it is lymph to the they comes to blood it is show the very very important one that is goes to the periodicity we called as nocturnal nocturnal periodicity periodicity will be there nocturnal periodicity means night time to the 10 o'clock to 4 a.m it is present into the peripheral blood vessels this is very important why it is reached to the peripheral blood vessels into the 10 to 4 am means further development will not possible into the human body it is not support the human body that's why it is must be transformed to the we reach it to the secondary host must be reached to the culex mosquito it is attain alive the 70 days is alive of within the 70 days we should not reach it to the secondary host the sculex mosquito that is the microfilarial larva is going to die then we reach it to the below of the 70 days the sculex mosquito first the microfilarial larva first reach it to the labia and uh, finally reach it to the midgut in the midgut area what are the sheet which is covered by the microfilarial larva it is goes to dissolve and a small thigh it reach it to the thoracic uh, muscles this is goes to molting will be takes place the formation of second stage of sausage shape of larva will be formed the sausage shape of larva it is goes to the one more molting will be takes place and finally formation of third stage of larva it is at a very long stage of microfilarial larva it is very infective stage to the human beings in the time these type of larva reach to the labia of the mosquito these mosquito is containing by this type of microfilarial larva it is bitten by the <coughs> newly person it is reached to the blood vessels again will be take the fourth molting to formation of young ones here this young ones to reach to the lymph within 5 to 18 months will be taken a lot of time will be taken to reproduce to lack to again will be continue the life cycle will be there sir which disease will be caused here is goes to specific specifically it is formation of <coughs> disease goes to filarial disease or filaria filaria basically which organs is going to affect it to the way basically legs and hands legs and hands somewhere it goes to scrotal sac scrotum and the mammary glands mammary glands 
and some of the area is goes to skin is highly affected by the this type of so uh, basically which <coughs> which type of uh, uh, lesions will be clustered here is goes to these type of dead filarial worms to be blockage of the flowing of lymph to the lymph vessels that type of there are three uh, abnormalities will be faced first one is goes to lymphangitis lymphangitis itis means inflammation inflammation will be takes to the lymph vessels inflammation will be caused to the lymph vessels this type of will called as lymphangitis and uh, lymphadenitis 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 also adenitis means is goes to glands is goes to basically lymph glands the inflammation will be takes place we called as lymphadenitis and is goes to lymph edema lymph edema lymph edema means deposition of lymph into the this type of uh, lymph lymph into the tissues the, uh, the swallowing of the such a lymph tissues we call as lymph edema will be takes place it must be constant with three lymphangitis means goes to lymph vessels lymphadenitis is goes to lymph glands and lymph edema is goes to deposition of lymph into the lymphatic tissue we called as lymph edema will be there for example here there is a have a deposition of lymph here the surrounding there is a have a fibroblast cells fibroblast cells is goes to rigid structure the formation of around uh, the lymph edema formation of rigid like structure this part is going to a swallow this swallow is results to formation of elephantiasis but the permanently it is swallow we should not change this type of elephantiasis disease will be formed here let us last we are going to prophylaxis or how to control how to control of this this is basically it is contaminated by the biting of mosquito means a culex mosquito that's why to eradicate it of the mosquito from your surroundings it should be easy to cure of or easy to prevent of this disease number one is goes to first the environmental must be clean environment must be clean means that the environment is habitat to the growing of mosquito number one number two what are the stagnant water will be there to removal of stagnant water in the empty vessels okay was removal of if there is a have a stagnant water in the lake it must be spray into the bhc or use the ddt of kerosene or pyrethrin whatever it you have to spray on that it is destroying of the larva of the mosquito if it, there is a have a tanks we have introducing by the gambusia fishes to be larvae cereal fish the gambusia the gambusia fish is introduced to the lake they can uh, uh, eaten by the all the larva of mosquito and uh, let us the last one is goes to must be used in the holdover area mosquito repellent to must be used to controlling of the battening of culex unfortunately uh, simultaneously we are must be controlling by the filariasis disease this is about uh, life cycle of filariasis disease